Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. It's November 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler, BAM's Head of Secondary and Primary Market Pricing. Brian, thanks for being here this week. Mm -hmm. uh, let's start talking about the interest rate markets. Uh, generally, they trended up higher this week, and then things changed today on Friday. What uh, what was driving it? Yeah, uh, you know, broadly, uh, everybody was looking at uh, commentary coming out of uh, China and the U.S. with respect to a trade deal, whether it's happening, whether it's not happening. Uh, so that had get put some pressure. On, uh, on the Treasury market all week long. Rates were back uh, by north of 20 basis points or so by, uh, by Thursday. Uh, that's kind of settled in a little bit with some comments this morning. Uh, Muni's generally outperform that sell-off for most of the week. Uh, we didn't really get any substantial cuts on the Muni side until about Thursday uh, when the market sold off a bit. But thankfully, most of this week's uh, large supply calendar came uh, by Wednesday. So, um, so most of the deals kind of got ahead of uh, the weakness on the Muni side, um, but overall, it's yeah. been pretty, um, you know, pretty robust. Yeah, Aaron Weitzman at the Bond Buyer said this was the busiest week uh, for new issue Muni's uh, so far this year. Yeah, um, yeah we had uh, north, almost almost 15 billion, uh, a little over 14 billion came and priced. Uh, almost five billion of that was taxables. Mm -hmm. So again, continuing the trend of seeing all of these taxable uh, refunding deals that are coming to the market. That supply has been getting stressed a little bit in the serial range um, with all the number of deals and the variability of, of credits that are coming. So serial bonds are starting to get a little pressure on spreads. But by and large, feedback on larger uh, long-term bond, taxable bonds have been continuing to perform really well. So right. and that's a factor of both demand, uh, still huge cash inflows into uh, yep. municipal bond mutual funds, uh, 44th consecutive week, uh, $1.1 billion reported by Lipper, I think, mm -hmm. as well as growing international demand we're hearing. Absolutely. Right? So for the BAM insured sector, how much uh, was, was price? Uh, solid week on the insured side. Uh, BAM priced uh, over 28 deals. Uh, I think it was about $365 million uh, in par insured, uh, most notably the, the largest deal that we insured uh, was for Yonkers in New York, um, uh, which priced a couple of series this week. Uh, away from that, it was very well diversified across different sectors. I think we were in 13 different states this week. Uh, so really, uh, you know, really strong uh, demand for insured paper. Very good. And that uh, Yonkers transaction was almost $150 million. Juliet Steele from BAM's East Region Public Finance did a BAM Credit Insights video. So if you want to learn more about the credit, uh, please take a look at that. Uh, let's take a look uh, the week coming up. Um, not quite the record pace. I think I saw 12, 12, a little bit over $12 billion, mm -hmm. uh, forecast for my pre -o. What are you looking at on the BAM calendar? Yeah, again, you know, this, this, uh, this kind of end of third quarter, fourth quarter deluge of supply continues since September, we've been averaging about 10.8, almost 11 billion or so in supply on a weekly basis. Uh, next week is expected to be uh, just over, you know, about 12 billion or so, plus or minus. So even ahead of that, um, of that uh, high pace. So uh, no, no signs of slowing. Uh, again, if some of these refunding deals fall out of the money, if we continue to see some uh, some weakness on the on the uh, rate side, it's a possibility that that comes down a little bit. But expect expectation is probably around 12 billion or so. And for BAM, I think we're getting at least $177 million in new issues. Any, uh, any highlights uh, stand out? Uh, yeah, we've got another solid week. Uh, next week expected, uh, probably highlighted by uh, Mill Creek Township in Pennsylvania. Um, that'll be priced by PNC. Uh, and then we're also watching very closely for a Miami parking deal that Jeffries is going to be pricing, and insurance will be determined on the date of the sale. The Mill Creek transaction, I think, is $44 million. Uh, Miami will be a little north of $50 million, mm -hmm. so uh, fairly large. We also have a new BAM Green Star our green bond coming up next week. It's out of uh, the state of uh, Pennsylvania. The city of Lebanon Authority is pricing about $16 million of sewer revenue bonds. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the next, and that's uh, done by Stiefel. So thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you next week. Will you get paid if an earthquake puts your municipal bond investment on shaky ground? Yes. Double A guaranteed. Is your municipal bond investment safe even if the next recession reduces public revenues? Yes, double A, guaranteed. BAM Municipal Bond Insurance protects against everything from natural disaster and recession to fraud or cyber attack. BAM.